Hi everyone, today's road trip is taking us through the Badlands in South Dakota. And today, we're going to see the geologic changes in Earth that occurred over millions of years. So come and join us! Badlands and we're on what's called Saddle Loop Trail. And this is what the old older days people hundred years ago or so took before there were modern roads and cars and all that stuff. It was too rough for the wagons to go over the this terrain, so they ended up taking it by foot. Can you imagine having to do that? No, yeah, definitely back in those days. No. Yeah. And there's signs out here that we've already seen beware rattlesnakes and stuff like that. So they had to not only cross the terrain as an only option, but they also had to be on the lookout for poisonous snakes and things like that. So, so did they do it by foot or did they take horses and stuff? I imagine they could probably take horses because remember on Black Elk Peak we saw horses. Oh yeah, it's kinda, a little different terrain. Well, it's rockier and stuff, but still the horses are, you know, obviously able to climb, so who knows, but it's really interesting. They have climbing horses. Yeah, let's do a little shot behind us and around us, look at all that beautiful geologic change that occurred. Established as a national monument in 1939, right? Yes. When did it become a national park? In 1978 is when they renamed it a park instead of a monument. And I even heard that they did uh, testing in World War II, the World War II time period, for uh, air to air and air to ground artillery in a different place, not the place that we're in, but. No, down by Pine Ridge Moor is what I was reading, and it was 1942 to 1945 is when they had the gunnery area. And okay. they still, the military still owns part of that land, like 2,500 acres of it. And it's not recommended that people go out there though, because there's unexploded ordnance out there still, isn't there? Yes, so that's what you told me the other day. Yeah, so, <laughs> um, anyway, so here's where we are. Lots of cool scenery behind us. Over this direction, same thing, different things actually, but just as pretty. Did you know, I read too, that they have um, the largest protected mixed prairie grass here in the Black, or Badlands? Really? Yeah, that's the tall grass from the west, short, no, tall grass from the east, short grass from the west that mix. It's like 400 different species of plants that grow here. Well, maybe somewhere down the road here soon we'll be able to show that. All right. Right now we're on kind of a, like a fossil tour walkway here yeah. at the Badlands and I'll just do a little, that's what we're walking on right now. But there's actually been a lot of fossils found right here in this area and I don't know if I mentioned it about the animals but 20 to 30 million years ago they're finding fossils from that, yes. that age of and I, years ago. And I read that it's the world's largest mammal fossil site is here in the Badlands. So it's pretty neat to see. We'll continue on but we'll just do a little circle time here. There's people up 
there taking pictures and stuff. I think Clint Eastwood might be out there too, but uh, we're gonna carry on. Millions of years ago, horses, our today horses, were dog size. These are some replica of their fossils from millions of years ago. I think I could ride one of those horses. Probably so. Giddy up, horsey! Hee hee! Ancient alligators like this one only grew to about six and a half feet long, whereas today the modern alligators that we know can grow up to 14 feet long. Ammonite fossils such as this one found in the park here are evidence that this was underwater 75 million years ago. And this was actually a sea that was about 2,500 feet deep, they think, 600 miles wide. And these particular things were food for mesosaurs and uh, other predators. But they could grow three and a half feet long. So that's a pretty big shell thing. Yeah, I offered him three dollars just because we were so desperate. We were getting eaten up by mosquitoes, but not today. No, and it, all he asked for was for me to follow him on Instagram. Yeah, what was his name? Evolving Sky. Evolving Sky on Instagram. Check, Check him, him out. out. <laughs> Sorry for all the wind noise in this video. It's just been a really windy day and there's not much I can do about it. So Tim, I've been looking at these hills, whatever you want to call them, and I've noticed that they have multiple, multiple colors in them. Mm -hmm. Do you know what they are? The white is volcanic ash from an explosion many years ago. I'm not sure which volcano that was. It might have been the Yellowstone eruption, since hmm. we are fairly close to Wyoming and Yellowstone. Yeah. Uh, they, uh, orange and the red colors are iron oxide and the tans the browns and that kind of color are a mixture of sediment clay and ash and then the purple that you see in the video that we might have already showed you is uh, oxidized manganese huh. so it's kind of a combination of a bunch of different things as we said in the beginning of the video you know this is kind of a history of the geological geological formation of this whole thing We stopped at another little scenic point and I had to use the restroom and so Debbie was going to wait in the Jeep but she came back out down here and uh, 
She's making horns at me and I couldn't figure out why, but now I see there's a goat. And if I can get close to enough without being butted, I'm gonna show you guys the same thing. So, hope you've enjoyed this video today and uh, approaching the goat. See it? That's me in the mountain goat. I'm glad we come through the Badlands. Uh, if you're ever up this way, definitely need to come and see it. It's amazing. Yeah, we just saw those goats. That was kind of a surprise. We heard about them yeah. at the beginning of it, but we didn't think we'd actually get to see any. He, so. He's been <laughs> he's been looking for goats for a month now. Yep, finally got to see them. So as you can see, we're losing daylight. Sunlight's behind Deb's head, and we've got a nice view actually all around us of just Badland country and it seems to be endless. Another one of the instances where cameras doesn't actually do the real thing justice. Thanks for watching. Sorry about all the wind noise and we'll see you on the next one. Bye!